ready. All right, welcome back to Cut Buzz with Galen. Welcome. You did it. We did it. This is it. This episode this somehow feels three episodes uh, ahead. Somehow. Like someone really <laughs> effed up the numbering system. So it seems like, but it has been fixed. Oh, good. What episode is this even? I don't know. 20, I don't, I don't, 26. I don't know. I think we're around 26 now. That's pretty good. I'm yeah. content with it. I did not, honestly did not expect it to last that long, but I'm, I'm glad. Yep. All right. So we are in the very early stages of Bela, um, the kith and kin, the, uh, pedals on the wind quest. Um, it's a great quest. Uh, I enjoy this quest a lot. I think you already talked to S kind there. And um, they are going to be going back to uh, Bela while basically they are judged by you. Mm. Um, so you, what the? Yeah, I mean, sure. Let's check out a lair real quick. It's always hard for me to resist not saying yes because otherwise you do not get it marked in your journal, which is an a legendary seed spitting vine. That's a neat one. Oh, they're probably going to have uh, Lurking Beth as friends, though. Legendary creatures tend to have very like-minded creatures as friends. And that means plants. A lot of plants. And Lurking Beth is definitely going to be one of those. And Kudzu, you know. Uh, we can leave. I don't think you're in hostile range. I disagree. Oh, okay. Yeah, now they can't see me. <laughs> You've lost sight. What's happening? I don't know. What are you trying to do? I want to go up. Go for it. There you go. Am I? You've marked yourself. <laughs> You've marked yourself. Um, just just head over to Bela. You should be fine. Which one's Bela again? Left. Where am I? Left two. Boop boop. There you go. You've done it. I want to go down. So, um, you remember last time I asked if you wanted to go the long way or the short way? You said the long way. That was the, that was the fast. I, yeah, I that chose was adventure, the, not length necessarily. You, yeah. So, um, they tell you what direction, this is for the people at home who want to do this quest and don't necessarily want to go the, the long way, but, um, they tell you what direction the burnt tree is in like east or west, south or north, I think. Uh, it's generally speaking east or west, but um, it's always two parasangs over and in the center tile. So you can always go two parasangs over and then enter that tile and it will always be there. Um, and that's the short way. So we didn't have to travel there, but it's fun. And, uh, you know, I appreciate I, I appreciate doing it occasionally. It's sort of like do it taking the underground river from uh, Red Rock to Jopa. You are... Oh, we are dismantling their homes, I see. I don't know. I'm trying to mark something other than myself. Oh, uh, they're mad. You have, you have angered them. Sorry. Uh, leave and then come back later. Like, go down that southern tile and then, like, just leave. Run away. Yeah, you, you, ah. you do not want to attack them. Can I fly? Can you can't fly. fly. Yeah, actually do that, yeah. That's a good idea. Fly away. Exit to the uh, overworld. I go up. Yep. Well, that was unfortunate. Um, just like go two tiles over and then two tiles back, and then that should be enough time passed that they won't be mad anymore. Why don't they understand? I was I was marking myself. Are you uh, still marked? No, you're not. Down, you can, please. Yeah, you're good. Uh, it doesn't look like they're angry anymore. Um, so let's go talk to. Esk, Esk, Eskind. Okay, we want to talk to Hindri or Eskind. No, we want to talk to. Okay. Too late. We want to talk to is there Hindri or Okay. Uh, the Hindri arc. Yeah, Hindri or Okay. The liar. <laughs> the liar. <laughs> huh, Eskind claims to be. Oh wait. Why is an exile standing in my village? Are you trying to play me for a fool? Yeah. 
The pariah claims to be wrongfully accused, and you believe her? She is obviously lying. Are all Kendrin so gullible? There is no proof that she is lying. Fine. Go to the warden then, and have her solve this mystery. But know this. Until a thief is found, and Kendris is recovered, I cannot reward you. You get nothing. Live and drink, friend. You drank fizzy lifting drink. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. And Batman just kind of turns away <laughs> with his cowl. Okay. Um, before we do anything, uh, there's just one box I want to check here because I always like to do this. Yeah. Um, does this crumpled sheet of paper belong to you? Oh, oh no. Yes, that's, that's mine. I meant to burn it. I probably should have burned it. I wish I had burned it. May I please have it back? So you can burn it? No. Yes? I don't know. Yes, I wish I burned it, but I wish I had given it. I wish I had never written on it. Written it? Or I had written it better? Or I had simply confessed in person. I wish I had a harder heart. I wish you would give it back, or burn it, or give it to her. If I do not give it back, what will you do with it? If I do give it back, I was trying not to think too hard about any of this until you found my poem, so I can't sing, but I can't ignore this sign of my cardus, not after you found it. Oh, take the poem, be brave. I don't think I've ever done that, actually. There you go. Kendrin, Mbavet man, I will try. I thank you. Live and drink. Okay, so I just want to outline here. Um... This is a very open-ended quest, and the fate of Bay Law really kind of rests in your hands, uh, in many, many ways. Um, you are going to be trying to suss out what you think happened with the with Kindrish, their uh, treasured item, right? Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So far, the parties are Hindurakka, who says that um, uh, Eskind stole it. Eskin says she didn't uh, and now like you know we're going to talk to the warden and we're going to after that start looking for evidence um, to support many different stories so why don't we go ahead and start that and then I'll, I'll do a bit more explaining I guess I, the reason I always like to do that love and fear part is because no matter what happens to Bela there was a good ending oh you want to talk to the warden first I think I'm hungry oh you're hungry oh my bad sorry um, I've got priorities, you know? There's a there's a line of dialogue from, I think, Lee Hart that says, oh, no, you want to give it to someone else. And they tell you who to give the note to. And uh, that's what I was thinking of. But they might only tell you that after you've talked to uh, Eskind about it. Wait, why? Why is Esk here? What's going? Do you have Kindrish? No. Let's trade. <laughs> oh, but what now? Let's... You are useless. Oh, well, yes, that's that's a good idea. You'll help, right? My axe arm and conviction are strong, but deduction was never been, has never been, and will never be <laughs> their greatest strength. May answer questions about the people in town, if that would be helpful. It would. These are These are going to be important. Of course, Kendrin, ask away. What can you tell me about Hindria K? K is very wise and very careful, which makes up for her lack of strength or tact. She'll, she always knows what's right, and she runs a very tight shift. She hates clutter from work like nothing else and cleans up any mess she makes unless it's a spill. Then she makes kiss and kush, kush, kush your kind. Do it. It's because Grando has a terrible fear of standing pools of water. Ba 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 bum. <laughs> Refusing to touch them. Copper and bronze afflict her with allergy sores, and she can't touch them. It's too old to spar with me, but her bow arm still aims true. That's all I can think of. I have another question. Oh, she's well. She's a good person with strong convictions. Or has always seemed so. I suppose that isn't helpful. Esk has a good eye for detail. She hates water vines so much that she avoids the patties and won't eat mats without labra to make it taste better. Um, she's afraid of salt backs. She's good at forging and terrible crafting. I've missed her so much. That's nice. 
She's afraid of salt backs is an interesting detail. Um, salt backs generally uh, hang out with dromads, so that that may become important. Ah, Christian is completely loyal to Grand Toe. We used to be friends, but his disposition has become so sour since he was appointed her protector, and he's quite cold to me now. He can't see well in darkness. He's the holder of Ari, an unbreakable heirloom fire axe. Heirloom fire axe. And he's very skilled with it. He's terribly finicky about food. He'll only eat a he'll only eat bland food and meat. And oh once when he had a bad cop as a foundry, a caretaker tried to feed him yuckweed, and he kicked her so hard it dislocated her jaw. That's rude. Dislocated her jaw. Poor elder Esselhind. What do you know about the outside durs? Oh, not very much. The only Kenjin who were allowed in the village before you are traitors, and it's always a very big fuss when one comes by. It's been a while since that happened, though, so any Kenjin who have visited must have come in secret. I don't think I have any more questions. All right. So um, now that we're fully on the quest, we're going to do an auto-explore. I mentioned before that we didn't want to do an auto-explore. It's because we were kind of saving it for this. So... I, yeah, I, we, I spotted that before. That is an interesting tidbit. You'll you'll note this is a, an empty injector. So that's relevant. I see another something over there to the south. A patch of fur. You should... It's unfortunately not picking up those things. It should. And there's another thing to the east there. Actually, you're getting kind of lucky with the evidence because they, they tend to be a little bit trickier to find. All right. It is not picking them up. So there's one east of that little pool to your southeast. And we're gonna we're gonna want to go and pick those up, or at least examine them. That's the one. Ripped leather oh, bracer. Ripped le Whoa! There you go. This leather bracer has seen some use. Why is it out here? You note this piece of information in the gossip and lore section of your journal. Do I pick it up? Um, you can. There's one I see to your northeast around the hut. Yeah, that looks like a footprint. We'll wanna probably just look at that. Gargantuan footprint. Ah, of only a great salt back. Oh, that's a huge footprint. Attack it. Attack the footprint. Um, I think there was- Look at that bloody fur. Yeah, the bloody fur. Where was it? It's, right yeah, right, right snuck in between the, the next tile and that hut there. Nice. Is this a patch of hindrance fur? There's blood on it. You know the piece of information in the gossip floor section of your journal. Okay. I know there's a there's one more thing in the grand hut that your character for some reason walked over but did not interact with. Oh, those guys are still mad at you. That's unfortunate. We actually do need to like talk to most of the residents of uh, Bela. They can give us some verbal uh, evidence. Are those more torn bracers? Worn leather bracers. Nice. Okay, so. Now we're going to want to talk to some residents. Oh yeah, it's Kessahind. <laughs> They're rude. I don't want your buckler, mister. I do like the, just the disposition of like, can I ask you some questions? You may not. Is it true that all Kendron sit Quetzal when they're happy? Um, no? <gasps> uh oh. Ask Hind. Poorly made leather brace or possibly to conceal Kindrish. Ba 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 bum. Ba 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 bum. This plot has thickened. Thick has plottened. No, we don't want to talk to them yet. It'll mm, let... I think I've got everything I need. We it'll let us know if we have all the evidence, and I think we get a little bit of a bonus if we find all of the evidence. I'm I'm a little bit worried that those two that are mad at you have some evidence. Oh wait a minute. I saw Kendra Munch the other day. They were being very sneaky, so I think they're meeting someone in secret. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Uh, um, I, you, uh... I think the red hindrance are also up for grabs. The This uh, Angohind pretty much explains to you what I explained to you. They're, they're kind of like a tutorial. I'm also like we have an inspired investigator with an ear for mystery. My grandhind has forbidden me from looking into the strange doings in the village, but she said nothing about me teaching you the ins and outs of detective work. Well, you are that man. I don't know if you need... I'm the greatest detective ever already. Probably. Maybe this is where I learn. This is year zero. This is how I become the greatest detective. That's right. Um, that's right. That's right. 
That's right. So, mm, toss up, blah, 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 stuff on the ground, a blood stain. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think there's a few people you haven't talked to on the left. They, they move around, which can make this a little bit of a problem. You'll always know if you've already talked to them because the option that says, have you heard any or seen anything will already be highlighted. Like it'll, it'll be grayed out. So we know we haven't talked to this one. So far, so good. So far, so good. There's probably like one more thing we haven't heard or seen. Uh... Hmm. There's one in that store. Oh yeah, the red, uh, the red ones are hunters. We can talk to them, I think. That one's the shopkeeper. They generally never have evidence. They are selling an herb. Herbary. Herbaries are very good. They're basically the upgraded which would bark. But as mm. you can see, they're very expensive. If only I had a you bunch do, of hearts. You do have a bunch. No, we want to keep the hearts. You want to sell the ape fur hats, though. We could actually afford the herbary if you sell all three of them. Nice. Good, uh, good getting one of those. Those are, are very, very good. This is like the basically the mid to late game healing item. It feels strange to ride across our borders unimpeded, but Grando wins it. And to be treasure hunters, they said they would pay for good would pay good water for unique artifacts or treasures. There you go. There you go. You got all the uh, evidence. So all now right. we can talk to Warden. Uh, I might recommend um, looking through our evidence and just like seeing if we can come to some conclusion, but you, you seem to have an idea. I'll be in God. Yeah, there you go. A sign of recent craft. Well, they did have a new bracer. I've seen Kendrin treasure hunters about. Type will take anything not nailed down. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And a bloody patch of fur. A, a sign of violence. A murder. Why doesn't anybody know she was sick? So she traded the artifact for healing drugs. Hmm. I'm going uh, I'm to let you come to your own conclusions here. Hmm. Have I asked all this already? I don't think so. Hendrick is the most likely suspect, in my opinion. But, you know, we unfortunately do have some evidence that suggests Eskind. We also have evidence to support, um, Ke, Hendriark. Secret brother. So she, like, does have a brother, but she has no brother? She has a, um, she has a sister who was born, you know, different. Oh, okay. That's fine. I didn't, I didn't pick that up. This is a very uh, trans positive quest. That's in some ways, and then we also have actual villains. So you're going to pick some evidence and then come up with a story, uh, basically. Mm. So you want to pick two, I think it's about two evidence that support each other and create some narrative. Saltbacks are horses? Saltbacks are uh, basically the caravan uh, for Dromad. So and the... someone was afraid of those? Yeah, um, that would be uh, Eskind, or not Eskind, sorry, uh, Hendrik, okay, I believe it was said that she is... Uh, let's, let's, let's go with leader and accused. Leader and, and accused. Leader and uh, accused, that makes sense, yeah. Um, found her and saw a merchant from outside the village sneaking around, indicating recent trade. I found a bloody patch of fur near the village paths. So if I go with the bracer and... Well, you can you can have a look at it. Um, nothing is final until it actually asks you what your final word on this is. So you can see what it kind of offers you. So if you go with like recent craft, like give it a, give it a go. Like, like I, I say, you look can at it? you can yeah you well you, you can select it and then um, it'll tell you like uh, you know like select it and then see what the next option is. Seemingly hidden from the village, but that can't be your only evidence. There's no culprit. And then it offers the founder and claim that Eskin left the village sporting a poorly made leather bracer. It's got seen Kendron treasure hunters. So you could say like treasure hunters, the type that will take anything not nailed down. I don't, I, I, I kind of like, um, well, actually I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying not to break, uh, sway you either way. So you could go with that. Um, it's a pretty loose narrative. The problem here is that if it doesn't fit certain traits of those characters, then uh, Neelahind will 
will reject the narrative and you'll basically lose those supporting evidence to um for you know for future guesses if you guess too many times wrong then uh it spoils the quest uh-huh but we get to we can we can you know as long as we're we're good about it, certain things like for instance you can't use i discovered a footprint from a great salt back on the paths a sign of recent trade and then use it to blame um the accuser because we know that they're afraid of salt bags right so is there like a correct answer the correct or is answer it just... is the one that you suggest that makes sense there is actually no correct way to end this quest there are like um canon like community supported canonical answers that make more sense there are um more supported answers than others but there's no actual canon correct answer here and that's really the main thing is this quest is open-ended in that you are creating a narrative you are actually creating the ending mm. Mm. and that ending that one that you create is going to very dramatically alter the course of Bela. Okay. No pressure. No pressure. Which one's Kessahind again? Kessahind is the one that protects the uh, the accuser. And not to sway you or anything, but they're kind of a shit. Okay. <laughs> is that the one that said no? Yeah. Whatever. By concealing some violence and craft, it was Kessahind who stole Kindrish. There's just anti-craft in general? Is that... No, it's just the fact that they concealed it. Okay. It could suggest that they were um, attempting to trade it. I'm not sure. This may be rejected. I don't... I'm not... I'm not sure. I'm actually very bad at this quest. I generally speaking always get something wrong. The evidence is clear. Eskan did not steal Kindrish. The crime was committed by none other than the Grand Dose Protector, Kessahind. He will be stripped of the ancestral axe he carries. Take that. Stripped of his property and stripped from our oral histories. Never will his name be spoken here again. He will never return on pain of death. Moreover, Kay's attempt to pen blame on Eskan without due process opened my eyes to her abuse of the power. She need not leave Bela, but she is... Cade and Hind, none once more stripped of her title and standing. As for the Hindriarchy, Eskand will act as an interim leader until we figure out what to do next. As a people, it will be a challenge to accept change, but we will be stronger for it. Batman is done. Well done, actually. I mean, it's difficult to, to really parse how things are going to affect Bela, but we know that Oh, wow. Wow. That's a nice get. You got distracted by the armor. Yeah, I got somewhat distracted from I the armor. I want to see this chaos happening. So you can see, um, for a moment, hold on. Uh, Hindurakha and Kesahind are now leaving the hut. You can talk to the to Hindurak, um, it was not, uh, you can talk to, to the one below you, Kehind. I should have kept them apart. I should have kept them all apart. Let's trade. <laughs> That's an expensive weird artifact. It is. So she's been stripped of her title. Um, her protector has been banished. Uh, and the one, the, the accused, the defendant, um, has been mm -hmm. made the new Hindriarch. At least temporarily, until they figure things out. Now that actually does some interesting things. Um, if you look at her now, I believe she has reputation. I might be wrong about that. Yeah, loved by the Hindran of Bela. So she is now technically um, one you can share a dram with. And in fact, she has something really, really powerful that uh, can, she can offer you for reputation. Crocusins. Yeah, crocusins. Four of them. I definitely want to share. Uh, but you might want to read that because that's the, that's the capper. Ha! Real justice? I never thought I'd see the like. Not here. Well done. I'll admit, I would have preferred to avoid becoming Hindriarch, but I'm hoping to bring my people to a more democratic form of governance. Then I can vote myself out. <laughs> okay. Share some, some secrets. Always, always learn to dual secrets. wield. That's it. That's the one. Um, she's um, one of the few characters that 
reliably if she becomes the hinder eric will uh be able to teach you deal wielding or reputation it's very expensive but not as expensive as actually buying that skill so it's it's actually really nice if we can get some more rep we, we need a bunch more getting bela rep is actually quite difficult because it's kind of random um if we somehow found kindrish i believe it would be worth something now i you might ask um, what happened to Kindrish? I don't know if this... What? What happened to Kindrish? Well, um, we don't know, really. At the end of the day, we, like I say, we don't have a canonical answer. But it is out there. That you can actually find Kindrish out in the world. Um, and there are people that know about its whereabouts. Uh, it's a fairly powerful item, if we can find it. And uh, if we deliver it back to the to Bela, it's, it's I think it's well-loved, if you do. I can't remember if they, they will accept it. I, I, I don't know if that's built in. But anyway, yeah, we don't we want to we want to keep a reputation. So I'd say be a lot of that. OK, we definitely want to wear that new armor and check out what it has engraved. But um, I'd say, like, you know, congrats. That is actually a very good ending for Bela. Um, there's a lot of ways that this quest can go very badly. Um, if it's like brought about that, uh, for instance, there was like violence and uh, outsiders and stuff like that, it can lead to the actual destruction of the entire village. Um, if there's like, you know, signs of illness, for instance, um, and you like, you know, ac basically accuse or, or suggest that there is an illness going around, it can lead to the destruction of Bela. Um, obviously, Eskin can very easily be remained banished. Um, which is kind of rough. Oratafa. Did you know that throughout the entirety of 6235 Burr, Oratafa rampaged through all of Forum District Sheshan, raising to the ground the homes of cannibals and flowers. He became known as the Terror of Sheshan. Can we mod She's sturdy. that? It's sturdy. Let's see if we can mod that with uh, Reinforced. Oh, we got a new uh, historic site. Nice. Okay, that's that's kind of expensive. Not impossible. Nanoma nanomaterials in this economy? In this economy? Um, I, th I think we could probably just wear that because it's the same AV as what we're currently wearing. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, it's it being sturdy is quite nice because it means it can't get cracked. We just reinforced that, which is kind of a bummer, but, you know, we can sell that. This seems better. It's... Uh, better in exactly one way, which is it, it's only negative four DV, not negative five. Um, but we're already far into the negatives for DV, so I don't think it makes a difference. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Basically, okay. we're trading five, five AV for five AV, but this one's uh, sturdy. That's really it. And then uh, we this one has the potential to be upgraded with reinforced, which would make it six AV. But... Um, we're kind of hoping that we find better armor before we have to do that. But anyway, that's a good place to end things. Mm -hmm. uh, would you would you make of the Bela quest? It's not over. It's not over. We're going to scowl the world until we find that dang trinket. <laughs> um, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. Do it. Do it.